Okay, in this video, we're going to look at why possible physics practical alternate B optics. And this is going to be the first part of the video, as I'm going to make about three videos on this. So before I continue, let me just urge you to subscribe, like, share, and make your comment on this video. So let's quickly read through the instruction. You are provided with a meter rule lens screen ray bus and other necessary apparatus set up the experiment as shown in the diagram above measure and record the diameter a not of the illuminated object place the object at a distance s is equal to 25 cm from the lens so this is x this is the object the object is the illuminated object the ray bus is the object so this is x 25 cm from the uh lens okay adjust the screen so this is the screen so you have to move the screen back and forth until a sharp image is obtained on the screen measure and record the diameter a of the image measure and record the distance v between the lens and the screen then evaluate a over a not so you can see the pattern of what we are going to get we are going to get the value of 25 cm first of all we are going to record the diameter now if you look at if you retreat this you find out that the diameter a naught is not repeated in the screen so you are measuring the diameter of the just ones so you can just record that at the top of your um your answer booklet a naught is equal to whatever the, uh, the size is you uh, put it there then s is equal to 25 cents so you're going to have x on that bus because l is repeated so you can see repeat the procedure for s is equal to 30 35 40 and 45 in fact determine the corresponding values of a so a is going to be on your composite table v will be there y will be there p will be there and t will be there so these are the values i'm going to put there x a a over a naught that's why that should be y is equal to a over a naught then p is equal to one plus y squared divided by y and t is equal to x plus v so this value here a over a naught represents uh y so y is equal to this that's what it means so this is what we're going to have. So this is my table. is going to look like this. So I'm going to have X in CM. I put the size, their sizes just like this and like this. Then I'm going to have A in CM. A is the diameter of the image on the screen. Then I have V in CM. And I'm going to have Y is equal to A over A naught. Okay, so that's the correct uh, A over A naught. Then we have P is equals to 1 plus y squared all over 20. Then we we'll have t squared to s plus v. So this is what my table is going to look like. So next, let's go on and plot and carry out the experiment proper. All right, so this is my table. Uh, I have the values here and all the values that I have to uh, take the readings of here. And this is the diagram. So this is my setup. So this is my ray bus. The ray bus is the illuminated object. So you can see the cross wire for the ray bus here. So that's the cross wire. And this is my lens. And this is my screen. So you have to ensure that the lens, the lens, the ray bus, and the screen uh on the same uh, line so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to place the illuminated object at 25 uh, cm so first of all let's take the diameter of the lens so what i'm going to do i use my pair of dividers to get the diameter of the illuminated object. So I'm going to open this. I just place this on top of this and adjust it until it fits into this. Okay. Then having done that, So 
So this gives my diameter. So I'm going to place it on top of my ruler and then take its measurement here. So this is centimeter. I'm going to place it here. And place it here. So this is uh, one point. 1.3 so I'm going to record that as 1.3 1.3 centimeters so you can record it to at least one decimal place or at least one decimal place so it can be 1.30 that's fine but one, uh, one decimal place it's okay so the next thing I have to do and I'm going to place the this at the 25 cm because it's going to be 25 cm so you can see it ensure that this uh, the center of this aligns with the 25 cm so that's what i have there because the distance of the illuminated object must be 25 cm from this as we have here so we have 25 30 35 40 and 45 so i'm going to switch on the boss now so the bus is on, then we have to adjust the uh, lens to get an image on the lens, okay? So, um, so we adjust this until you get a sharp image. If it's not sharp, you move it backward. Okay, so we can take the distance now. So this is 75.5. So I'm going to take that away from 25. So that's V and that is a 50.5. Then the next, we have to take the diameter of the, we have to take the diameter of the illuminated object it's a little it's brighter than the way it's showing on the screen it's a little brighter because this place is uh, a little bit uh, lighter that's why it's lighter so i'm going to open my uh, this so you have to be very careful so that you don't bl uh, block the rays so i'm going to open this and take the diameter again so i'm going to place this on my ruler and measure it. So this is a 2.8. So I'm going to record that as A, 2.8. 2.8. So that's uh, recorded there as 2.8. Then next, we're going to shift this to 30 cm mark. So this 30 cm here, let's just to the 30 cm mark. So we have it at 30 cm mark. Then adjust the screen again back and forth to get a bright image. Okay. So the image is a lot brighter than the way it is. So I'm getting at 68. So at 68, and I'll subtract that from 30. So that's going to give me 38.0. Then I'll take the diameter again. So I'm going to take the diameter this way. then place it on my ruler and take the measurement again that's 1.8 next the next length is 35 so I'm going to move it to 35 so I'm going to push this to 35 so this is 35 so ensure that this is always with the center of this okay so it's good to uh, always do that. Then adjust this again to get a bright image. Okay. 
okay, because this place is not dark, that's why the, cam the camera is not sensing it as being uh, that bright, okay. So we we'll have this, so it's a lot uh, brighter than that. So we we'll take the distance V, so it is formed at, so this is a 68, so I'll do 68 minus 35. So that's going to give me 33. 33.0. So then I'm going to determine the where are the diameter again. So I'm going to stay here and I adjust this. Okay, then I place this on my ruler to take measurement. That is 1.3. 1.3 okay so next i'll shift it to 40. so let's move it to 40. so this is 40 over here so always ensure that the center is on this okay then we adjust the screen again Okay, so that's where I'm getting a bright image here. Okay, so the uh, focal length of this lens is 15. The focal length is 15, 15 centimeter, uh, 15 centimeter, that's the focal length. Sometimes you may not have uh, the focal length of 15 centimeter, but you get 20 centimeter, so your, your teacher is going to record that for that. So let's see, let's take measurement. So this is at, Seventy-five. So I'm going to do seventy-five minus forty, and that's equal to thirty-five. So I record that as thirty-five point zero. Then I'll take the diameter again. Place this here. Then I'll place it on my ruler again and take the measurement. This is exactly 1.0. And finally, I'll move it to 45. Let's move this to 45. 45. Okay, then I'll adjust this back and forth and see where I can get the brightest image. So you should move it back and forth so it becomes blood, sharp, blood, sharp. So that distance is uh, 73.4. So I'm going to stop that 73.4. minus 45 so that's going to give me 28.4 so 28.4 and let's take the diameter again so i'm going to take the diameter from here That is 0 0.9. So, these are my readings. So, what you look at in this is that there are trends. So, you see that the diameter decreases and the, as the distance decreases, as the distance from the, of the illuminator object from the lens increases, the diameter decreases and the distance of the a screen from the mirror at uh, the lens also what decreases so these are the trends that you need to uh, follow